September 22, 1862, Battlefield Hospital near Sharpburg, my dear wife. Day before yesterday I dressed the wounds of 64 different men, some having two or three each. Yesterday I was at work from daylight till dark, today I am completely exhausted, but still soon be able to go at it again. Days after the battle are a thousand times worse than the day of the battle eh? and the physical pain is not the greatest pain suffered. How awful it is. You have not can have until you see it any idea of affairs after a battle. The dead appear sickening but they suffer no pain. But the poor wounded mutilated soldiers that yet have life and sensation make a most horrid picture. I pray God may stop such infernal work, through perhaps he has sent it upon us for our sins. Great indeed must have been our sins if such is our punishment. Our regiment started this morning for Harper's Ferry, 14 miles. I am detailed with others to remain here until the wounded are removed, then join the regiment with my nurses. I expect there will be another great fight at Harper's Ferry. Carry. I dreamed of home night before last. I love to dream of home it seems so much like really being there. I dreamed that I was passing Hibbard's house and saw you and Lyud in the window. After then I saw you in some place I cannot really know where you kissed me, and told me you loved me, though you did not the first time you saw me, was not that quite the soldier dream. That night had been away to a hospital to see some wounded men, returned late. I fastened my horse to a peach tree, fed him with wheat and hay from a barn nearby, then I slept and dreamed of my loved ones away in New Hampshire. Write soon as you can. Tell me all you can about my business affairs and prospects for the future in Bath. Will Dr. Boynton be likely to get a strong hold there? One thing sure can. I shall return to Bath, if I live, and spend my days there. I feel so in that way now. Give me all news you can. Tell Parker and John and the girls to write although I cannot answer them all. Tell Parker I will answer his as soon as I can. In this letter I send you a bit of gold lace such as the rebel officers have. This I cut from a rebel officer's coat on the battlefield. He was a lieutenant. Made the acquaintance of two rebel officers, prisoners in our hands. One is a physician, both are masons, both very intelligent, gentlemanly men. Each is wounded in the leg. They are great favorites with our officers. One of them was brought off the field in hottest of the fight by our 5th New Hampshire officers, he giving them evidence of his being a mason. Now do write soon. Kisses to you Clint Kate. Love to all. Yours as ever. W.C. William Child, Major and Surgeon with the 5th Regiment New Hampshire Volunteers.